Um, we thought the world had changed in the 60s. I was little, but we, we still thought it did. And actually, you could almost say the 70s were the love child of the 60s. First, LSD and San Francisco. Flower power and the grateful dead, then practice put to the test. And passing with our rainbow colors flying, we thought equal rights would pass as well, but Phyllis Schlafly screamed about dead military daughters, co-ed armies rife with six. She did have a husband to bake cookies for. Stanford, Connecticut. A series of different bartending gigs. At one, we served gay couples, black and white, hetero couples, street people, business executives, muscular guys in the loading dock at Caldors, all regulars, all, hey, Billy! Howard Beach race riots, still the awful future. And you haven't lived till Diddy Ramon bums the smoke off you. Yeah. <laughs> and you haven't died till your boss feels you up when you polish the bar lamps. No laws broken. No cops to call. His dropped pants. Hey, look, Rosie. No Bill Clinton-esque payday bag. Then no finer way to lose that job than because you won't screw that boss. No finer way to not get hired elsewhere at all than because you're female. Explained to your face in firm rejection at a sports bar. They hire girls. Now, look. These days, I could sue Harry and his dropped pants, or the Bobby Valentine's sports bar, and any one of a number of engineering firms. I could do that now. But the stupidity of the 70s was its innocence, too. And, and somewhere in the smoke and frying egg rolls, Larry and his lover Billy walk in, and the bar yells, Hey, Billy! Years before cheers and hey, Norm. And a homeless guy argues with a visible friend stealing his drink. And the dock guys arm wrestle, and the businessmen drink scotch to oblivion and one some day to a eventual frostbite. And, and couples of any sex, any skin, any religion drink too much, and we drive home anyway, safe as houses. All us love children. The future, one happy, bright, utopic dream. <laughs>